Okay, so today we're in our garage. And I know, give me a heads up, this grease gun that I bought, it's from the Walt, and it's the model number DCGG571M1. I believe the one stands for the one battery it comes with. Yeah, it comes with the one charger, well, it's a fast charger, and a 4 amp hour battery. No, I just put the box back on it, but I have used it already. Actually, it works really well. Now, let's get this box out of the way. But the box says it has, well, it has a three year warranty, the one year free service. 90-day money back guarantee. You know, standard the world. Um, it says powerful motor delivers 10,000, 1,000 PSR, like, you know, whatever. Oh, uh, you know, it's just. I do like that it has a 42-inch hose, which is about uh, three and a half feet. And you can use this with the cartridges or fill it up by bulk. Okay, let's get into this. It does come with a nice case, actually, you know. This is what it looks like in the case. Like, if you, I don't know if you can see it, but in, like, how I had the hose wrapped, there's like a little. Mark inside where it shows where the hose goes. So here's your charger. In the book it says that's a 30 minute charger. The DCB 115. It charges the 12 volt max or the 20 volt max batteries. It has a strap, which is this, to hang on your neck. Let's take this out now. And there's your instructions. And then on the back of the books, here's the battery, and here's your charger. So you take the number, your model from the charger, look for it on the paper, and the battery you have, hit on the number on the battery is right here, which is this is the DCB204. And if you look, it charges the battery in 35 minutes. More <laughs> focus, but you should read that. That actually looks pretty well on there. Now. So here's your battery. Standard the wall for my battery. Three bars, of course. A lot brighter than the Ryobi, I noticed, but yeah. It had 50% charge when we got it. That's one bar left. Ooh, I have to set the match on. So here's your hose. You got a nice spring on here to Protect your hose and you know keep from kinking because that's where it has this nice little dust cup on here. That cap. It is. It, this is really stiff. It does walk on really nicely actually. Though. Huh, let me just get this thing out of the way. It's lighting over there. So here's the grease gun. Here's this little yeah little. A uh, spot here to hang your, well, you know, put your, you got, uh, the hose. Standard grease gun, pretty much. It's just a, it does have a trigger lock here. Up in the front here, that's the LED, and you can turn it on. So right now, there's a switch right here.
Up is on and down is off when you pull the trigger. There's your LED. Your belt, your strap clip. And if you unlock it, and if you have your flashlight on, you just tap the trigger, it comes on, it stays on for 20 seconds. And then it turns itself off. So yeah, it's just the standard, uh, yeah. It has rubber feet on the bottom. And then, right here you put a fitting or whatever they use to fill this container for bulk uh, greasing. Your pressure relief, yeah, not your air purge valve. That's your handle for the plunger and everything. And then, yeah, let's, I'll take that cartridge out for you to show you. So when you want to take your plunger, you want to remove this and have some grease in it, you, you need, let's take the battery out. Make it a little bit easier. You open your valve here. Right there. And then you pull back this one. And you gotta get it in that little groove over here. A notch. And then you take your uh, cartridge out. And there's your grease. And this is the inside, it's just a standard. Uh, I like to use the blaster one. Blaster grease, it works really well. And then, if you look, you can, I don't know if you can see it in there, because there's a little, there's grease on it now, but there's a screen in there to keep any dirt that got in your grease gun or whatever, or in the grease, from clogging up your pump. Now, I do know some people, I bet I read the reviews on it, some people's Grease guns don't prime. So when you want to, when you prime your gun, so you put your grease in, unlock your gun, your uh, plunger, You open your valve here. You can hear the air purge out. And then what you want to do is get something. It's okay to throw away if it has grease on it. I'm going to use this little water bottle here. Put your back on the trap. And you can, you hold your trigger for 10 to 20 seconds, it says, in there. See, then your grease comes out, and you close that valve, and you're good. And wipe off your nozzle and keep it clean. Now, I did see on Amazon, this one guy did ask if it was brushless. Uh, no, it is not brushless. Because, if you look in this vent for the motor, when you let go of the trigger, it flashes. And that's just saying it's, those are the brushes in there. Um, 
that's pretty much it, but up here is your, you know, I don't know, if the clip for the bell or whatever. Um, oh yeah, if you flip it up, this is your pressure relief valve. Put the grease on there. If you take this bolt out right here, that uh, Allen screw or whatever, um, you can take your pump apart to clean it and everything because if you looked in the book, that's where they say to check that if yours don't prime. Let's get the book out. I'll show you um, what they mean. So I gave the book, it's just, it says everything what I just said pretty much. Um, so here's your bulk versus, this is for the grease crutches and this is for the bulk containers. Right here it has a good example. It has a pretty good thing for the batteries. Uh, fuel gauge right here. See, there's that screen, the V, which is that screen there, and then there's your little bolt, your that's so the EE, -E, I'm at the BB, is saying the plug. EE is a little disc. The DD is the spring. CC is the ball. It says clean the ball CC and I'm guessing that's the check valve and Y is the... I don't see what Y is. Huh. But then you have all your accessories like your coupler, your three pack of couplers, Your right angle uh, grease gun coupler, grease gun hose assembly, the 42 inch. They got the the 24 inch hose too, and the clear grease coupler. I meant the grease the clear grease gun cartridge. Uh, the, if you're wondering what the coupler is, if you want to look it up for yourself or something. The, just the coupler that want it, that it's an eighth MPT thread is is the model number is DCGG five seven oh one. The three pack is DCGG five seven oh one dash three, which stands for the three pack. The right the right angle grease gun coupler, which is the DCGG five seven oh two. Or zero to I mean your your forty two inch hose assembly which is D C G G five seven zero three dash forty two forty two inches for the forty two stands for the forty two inches and then for your twenty four inches the twenty four inch hose is D C G G five seven oh three dash two four and then your clear grease gun cartridge tube, which is DCGG5704. So let's go over on to the John Deere over here. And let's go put some grease on it. So we'll be right back.